Every electrician has a half inch drill in their truck and there's no way around that. When DeWalt came out with their 60 volt flex volt stud joist drill, we placed it with Concord Carpenter electrician Jim Nadeau. And we wanted to see how it stood up to the competition. The flex volt's designed for roughing in plumbing and electrical and we had four questions. Can a cordless drill perform as well as a corded drill? Will the battery actually last to make a difference and make it worthwhile? Uh, what would you give up by going cordless? And lastly, we get this question a lot. How does it compare to the Milwaukee whole hog that's set up for electrical? Well, as far as performance goes, we, we first tested the flex volt on a uh, 2,500 square foot new construction home. And we compared it to the DeWalt corded DWD uh, 460K and went to see how it would compare and how it held up. So it was a basically DeWalt corded versus DeWalt cordless competition. We found that the FlexVolt drill outperformed the corded version in almost every single way. Torque and speed are very comparable uh, given that the, the FlexVolt had a slight advantage. And the reason is that the test, the test was not really on a, a level playing field because on the corded saw we had to run 200 feet of, of cord just to get the job done. Um, and of course, as you know, long extension cords lowers the voltage on the, on the power drill. And you know what guys, if you're saying, well, that's not fair, 200 foot of extension cords, that's not normal. I beg to differ, it's very normal. And I've been on countless uh, job sites over the years and there's always a fight for electrical power. You might have to go through three or four electrical cords and three ways and, and, and junction boxes just to get to an outlet. Not having to search for an outlet and not having to walk around with an extension cord dragging behind you going through the house are two major advantages for the FlexVolt. And obviously, you know, the, the, the corded version of the DeWalt drill can run non-stop and it does have its advantages, say, for maybe mixing mortar or plaster where you set it up stationary and it runs all day in that one spot. But our electrician works all over the place and on multiple projects, ranging from small bathroom remodels to an entire house. So for, for someone like Jim to be able to pick up the FlexVolt and run with it gave him a huge advantage. The tool, the FlexVolt tool weighs 2.9 pounds, approximately it's 6.83 inches um, high and 16 inches long. It has a half inch keyed chuck, they don't have a keyless chuck yet, and a two speed variable speed that ranges from 0 to 300 and 0 to 1250 RPMs. The two speeds are, are one for electrical, one for plumbing pretty much. The biggest question we had was how long is this battery going to last? Well, on this particular house, we got 153 holes, one inch holes drilled through two by six studs, two by four studs, on that project. Larger projects, you're gonna need more batteries. The DeWalt has a safety clutch feature that detects reactionary torque caused by bind up or, or stalling and it reduces it to a manageable level until you can gain control of the tool again. Huge safety feature and something that we love seeing in these big drills. Something like that will knock you right off a ladder. Um, we, would, we would like to see maybe a little bit more torque control or control of that clutch. Something very similar to what the DCD996B has, which is kind of like a little dial. You can dial up and down the settings of the clutch. That would be nice on the FlexVolt. We'll see. Um, as far as the questions, look, I think we pretty much answered all the questions we had when we first started this review and we first got this tool, except one. And it was, how did it compare to the Milwaukee Fuel Whole Hog? Well, the FlexVolt is designed, as I said earlier, for the plumber and electrician. It's the same tool, two speeds, designed for that. Milwaukee's Whole Hog was purpose-built for electrical rough-in only. You want to get uh, plumbing, you've got to get the plumber's version of that Whole Hog, which is a bigger, heavier tool. FlexVolt was built with two speeds to accommodate larger bits for plumbers. The Whole Hog uh, is a higher speed tool, lighter weight tool. It's actually three and a half to four pounds lighter than the flex bolt, depending whether you go with the quick collet change out or the keyed chuck. 
Um, Milwaukee actually has both. They give you the options. FlexVolt does not. Runtime, FlexVolt drilled 153 holes, as we said. The Whole Hog drilled 150 holes on a 4 amp hour battery and 300 holes on a 9 amp hour battery. But the Whole Hog only drills up to 2 inch holes. Again, optimized for an electrical contractor, not a plumber. Most of the holes electricians drill are 1 inch or smaller. The FlexVolt, on the other hand, can spin some really huge bits. 5 inch steel hole saw, uh, half inch steel twist bits inch and a half wood auger bits, six and a quarter wood hole saw bits, four and five eighths wood self-feeding bits, and inch and a half wood spade bits. Um, there's some serious metal spinning there. As far as cost goes, Milwaukee is 249 for a bear and 449 for a kit. Flexfold is 399 for one battery and 479 for two batteries. As a carpenter, I'm super impressed with the Flexfold saws. As far as the Flexfold drill, I'm not sure it's a solid win over the whole hog. Not yet. Bottom line though, guys, it's not what you're giving up. It's what you're gaining with the DeWalt FlexVolt. The convenience and the freedom to move around without an extension cord is well worth the additional cost compared to a corded drill. Check out the DeWalt FlexVolt joist and stud drill, and please consider subscribing to our video channel. We need your support, guys, and we'll see you at the next tool review. Take care.